Hey, I'm Doug Doppler, and on behalf of Line 6, I'd like to welcome you to the Pod HD Connectivity Series. In this video, we're going to be mapping tones and tunings from the James Tyler Variax to the Pod HD 500 for some pretty amazing hands-free control. Then in the next video, we're going to be looking at the pretty amazing things you can do with Pod HD and the DT Series amplifiers via the proprietary L6 Link. And in the third video, we're going to pull all this gear together to create some pretty complex sounding rigs that are surprisingly easy to configure. So let's get started. So this is the brand new JTV89, and it features traditional electronics as well as Variax technology. You activate that by pushing and turning the guitar model selector and alternate tuning knobs. Pod HD 300 and 400 both receive Variax data over a standard guitar cable, while the HD 500 features a special Variax digital input. This VDI allows you to call up tunings and models on a preset by preset basis from the HD 500. So for this first demo, I've dialed up a Blackface Lux model with some reverb on the HD500. I've also programmed the HD500 to force the Variax to switch to the bridge position of the Spank model as soon as I select this preset. For a translation of model names, you might want to check out the Pod HD model gallery and the James Tyler Variax pilot's handbook at line6.com. So for this one, I copied over the Blackface Lux model with reverb that I used in the last demo to a new preset that also incorporates a brand new custom preset that I created on the JTV89. And this preset calls up the neck position of the Lester model with a half down altered tuning preset. So for this one, I've dialed up the bridge position of the T model in combination with the drop D flat tuning on the JTV89. And I've dialed up the P75 model with some delay and reverb on the Pod HD500 for something a little bit more rock and roll. So the JTVs also feature some really great acoustic guitar models. And on this one, I've created a custom preset using the Model 1 in combination with the Baritone Altered Tuning preset. Now, I've also done something really interesting on the Pod HD 500. I've created an effects loop, and the send is actually feeding my DI box, in turn going out to my mixer, and in turn that's going to feed my powered monitors. Although it's off when the preset loads, I've integrated reverb into this preset that I can activate by stepping on the FS1 controller. I've also integrated the Line 6 Mission Expression pedal such that once I've activated the reverb, I can actually control how wet I want the signal to be. So that concludes the first video in the Pod HD connectivity series. Next, we're going to be checking out all the cool stuff we can do with Pod HD 500 into the DT Series tube amplifiers via Line 6's proprietary L6 link.